Hello everybody, welcome back to Maddie's Kitchen. Today I'll be making a cucumber, onion, and tomato salad. First I'm gonna start with the cucumber. I take it, this is how I do mine. Now you can do it any kind of way you want to do it, but I start taking the skin, some, some of the skin off, just to make it look kind of cute. And then I slice it like this, cut it up. This is a really good salad if you, you know, like if you're on a diet and you don't want to uh, uh, eat, you know, you're trying to lose a little weight and enjoy the salad too, because I really like this salad. Here's how my cucumber look when I get through by. You know, I think they look kind of cute. I like mine like this, or you could have took you also can take it, peel it, and cut it in, you know, cut it in little squares, but I like mine like this. Next, I'm gonna start with the onion. I have two types of onion. I have a red onion, and I have a white onion. So I'm gonna start with this, uh, I'm gonna slice it. This knife is really, really sharp. I can slice it really, really thin. Slice it, set that up, the rings. Now you really, for this salad, you're gonna have to kind of like onions. You know, if you don't like onions, just eliminate the onions and put, what, put it whatever you want to in it. So now I take my onions and I take them and open them up like this. And you put these in there. Okay, see how these look? Now I'm gonna take and put some red onion in, because I, like, I love red onions and they're kind of healthy for you. So I'm gonna put these in here. Slice these. Throw them in here. No. Come Thanksgiving, you you know, if you tune in to the Four Sure family, and it's, I did a video of um, uh, turkey off the bone. It's a full, it's a thanks. I also, I did a whole Thanksgiving dinner. So if you look, if you never cooked a Thanksgiving dinner, just check the, uh, on Four Sure family, just look at the video off the bone turkey. Here's that. So next I'm gonna do the tomatoes. And what I do to my tomatoes, I take and cut them in two. And the reason I cut them in two is, so the flavor can go through the tomatoes. And you want the flavors to go to the, so you know. So I cut them. You can put them in whole if you want to, but I think the best result is when you cut them in two. And these are cherry tomatoes. I like cherry tomatoes. And these onions kind of make me cry a bit. But I really like cherry tomatoes. I think it gives it a good flavor. And it looks really good too. Cherry tomatoes. That's a simple salad. You can make this salad in less than 10 minutes, you know. Don't that look pretty? And okay. And the next thing I'm gonna do, and that's simple, all this, this is cucumber. Onion, two types of onion for me. You can only use one if you want to. I use red and I use white. The vegetables are finished, so now I'm gonna get ready to add the, uh, the liquid ingredients. I start with the, I'm gonna, put a, I'm gonna start with the vinegar. I can, you can start with either one. I'm gonna start with the vinegar. I'm gonna put a little vinegar in here. A little is a lot. <laughs> and I'm gonna add the sugar. This is sugar, plain sugar. You have to taste this. I'm a taster, you know. I tell, I told y'all if you look at my other videos, you never know how nothing, something tastes until you taste it yourself. And and always remember, it's how you like it, cause you're cooking it. And how, if you like it, I think everybody else will like it too. I'm gonna start with the pepper. Put a little pepper. It looks pretty when you put a lot of pepper in there. It looks when you put it on the salad, it looks real pretty. And here's the salt. Okay, and 
vinegar is real strong, so I'm gonna put a little water in here too. And that's all it takes for this salad, but you gotta stir it up good and you taste it. And this salad is pretty good. You know, I put sugar in here, but if you're on a diet and you have diabetic and you can't eat uh, uh, regular sugar, you also can use sugar free. But personally, myself, I don't like sugar. I don't like anything that's sugar free. So I, you know, I use uh, just regular sugar, and I'm gonna pour it on the on the, uh, the vegetables. Stir it up really good. And this is good. You got to taste it. So that's what else I need in there. And this time I just put it on the vegetable. I just put a little, a little bit on the vegetables. That's the pepper, and here's my salt. That looks good. I'm gonna put some sugar. And if you put too much, you can always add a little more water and stuff to it. So, I'm gonna taste this, I'm gonna stir it up good, and I'm gonna taste it. You could add a little bit more tomatoes on that, but. I love onions and tomatoes. I like, I love it. This is a good little salad you can cook and serve it, you know, for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna taste it right now, see how it tastes. See what I need to put in there. I'm gonna put an onion, put one of the onions. Tomato. This cucumber, put an onion. Really, I just really want some of this juice in here. And I'm getting ready to taste this. So let's see what I need. <laughs> Tastes pretty good. But I'm gonna have a little bit more. The pepper, because I love the pepper taste myself. If you don't like pepper, you can add less. But it's how I'm doing the sugar. And a little salt. Okay, now this salad has to. You know, it has to go in the refrigerator so the vinegar can soak through it because, you know, you can eat it right now, but when, if you're gonna serve this salad, it's best to cook it. I mean, I'm sorry, it's best to fix it maybe about an hour before you serve your food because the vinegar would make it taste better when all the season together and stay, you know, let it chill a little bit in the refrigerator and just serve it on, on a bowl. So I'm gonna put it in there so you can see it really good. But make sure you put it in the refrigerator and let it set for a while so the vinegar can go through it. Mm -hmm. Simple salad. When I cook stuff, when I, uh, uh, when I make stuff cooking or doing salads and stuff, I always like to make it as simple and old-fashioned. I'm an old-fashioned cook. I could have added something else. I could have put parsley. I could have put garlic, you know, to make it look pretty, but I'm just showing how food looks for you decorated. I'm a, just a plain cook. Everything I cook is plain, it's country, and I try to make it, you know, fix it to it look good. Now I'll put this, I'm gonna set this in the refrigerator for an hour and let it, everything go through it, and it'll be good. The next day it tastes really good. It tastes really good the next day. But okay, then this is uh, my little cucumber and onion salad. And I uh, hope you all enjoy. But like I said, if you're on a diet, you can take and uh, use sugar free. And then you'll get the same taste. And you can do this. And this salad is good for a diabetic. And if you're a diabetic and you use a sugar free, you'll enjoy it.
It really would. How that look? But anyway, I want you all to go to the YouTube channel and tune in. You'll find I, I did fried corn, cream style fried corn. I also did uh, my uh, green fried tomatoes went very well. I did that. And now I want you all to tune in, like I said before, for the Thanksgiving. If you never cooked before, I'll give you step by step how to make candy yams, collard greens, stuffing, and turkey. So, and thank you all for tuning in because I did, I'm doing pretty good. I'm not, I appreciate what you're doing for the For Sure family. Please tune in to it and thank you very much. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the For Sure family channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya!